showing up in groups fighting. Things are really a mess, yeah? So we got to thinking, what can we do to make the world a better place? Nothing brings people together like Blitz. Right, good luck! Take my eyes off you for one minute and you're playing ball. Sorry! Really suck. 
It's almost time. Do you think people will show up? You betcha! The Thunder Plains will be packed. But what are you gonna sing? Um... <laughs> wow, did you write that? It's more like I felt it. I can hear it echoing inside me. Len? I think so. I don't know much about her, but I'm learning more and more. Bits and pieces of her memories keep pouring in. It's like... It's like I can feel what she was feeling. Thus shall Len's scattered thoughts be woven into bittersweet song. Something like that? Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up as spectators. So we won't be able to board for a while. You got it. Oh, it's you. You've probably heard, but I've been called back to Youth League headquarters. It is a shame, though, having to leave Besaid in the hands of slackers. Besaid will be fine. Walk us there to keep an eye on things. <laughs> Small consolation. If you ask me, his brother was ten times the man Waka is. You knew Chapu? We fought in the Crusaders together. He always talked about Waka. Said, my brother's the greatest person in Spira. Imagine my surprise to find out the legendary Waka is nothing more than a wishy-washy wimp. There were so many things I'd wanted to talk to Waka about, but not anymore. Things? What kind of things? Memories. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I need to get ready to leave.
Shame on you, Yuna. What did I do? What's this about a concert? Doing something fun like that, even though you know I can't leave Besaid. Not very thoughtful. <laughs> Sorry. I got tired of just standing around. You couldn't resist helping out. You haven't changed at all, have you? Even though you so wanted to. You could tell? How many years have I known you? You don't need to rush. You know, the most important changes happen naturally, and usually turn out better than if you try to force them. So that's how it works? In my experience, at least. Hey, Lou! You sure it's alright to be walking around so much? You got twice as much reason to be careful, yeah? Yes, sir. Take Waka. He probably doesn't even notice it's happening. Huh? Yuna, what's this about? Just girl talk. That right. Cause I'm thinking it's a boy. The way it's always kicking that loose stomach. On second thought, maybe he hasn't changed after all. Concert. Too bad we can't go cheer you on. Why not? With the baby about to be born, we're kind of worried, yeah? Lulu's fine, but you know Waka. But uh, we should be able to hear you through this thing, right? We'll be rooting for you. Time for today's surprise interview. Let's turn things over to Butta here in Besaid Village. Waka, you're about to become a father. Tell us how that feels. I don't know. Won't really know until I am one, yeah? It seems he doesn't know. That explains it. If he knew, he wouldn't be running around without a clue. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Welcome back for round two of our interview. This is Dado reporting from Besaid Village. Which will it be? A bouncing baby boy or an adorable little girl? But I got a feeling it's gonna be a boy. Oh, no, nope. it'll be a girl. Wait, why? How did you know that? You find out some way. Oh, I don't know. Ah, make up your mind! <laughs> this is Bentado on the scene. <laughs> 